Oh my god, an earthquake. Oh, I, I has not hit LA yet, but I saw that. <laughs> hey. Oh, there's Babe. There's Tarek. Hi. Hi, sorry. Go ahead and check out Honey Bunny. Thank you, honey. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, love you. <laughs> Look at her hand. Yes. She said yes, the I future yes Mrs. El Musa. Well, first of all, congratulations. Hey, thank you so much. I'm so excited and so happy. It's kind of a nice uh, note to go into the season on because I think people are going to watch season three and each episode be like, is he going to propose? Are we going to get a proposal? Are we going to get a ring? Yes. Like, not on the show, but off the show. Not yet. <laughs> I think everyone was hoping. It's so funny to know, know you're engaged and then see what's on the show because it seems like every episode you're just talking about getting married, wanting a ring, wanting to plan a bachelorette party from a wedding that's not happening yet. I know. I'm not one of those people that have thought about my wedding my whole life, but I'm so in love with Tarek. And we knew from the very beginning, like we were going to spend our lives together. We were going to get married. We went ring shopping like three months into our relationship. So like, I knew it was coming, I just didn't know when, but everyone else was like, do you think it's gonna happen near here? What do you think it's gonna happen? I'd be getting text messages. Is it gonna happen in Paris? Is it gonna happen? And I'm like, you guys, I don't know. But then I started getting excited. I'm like, well, maybe it will. But watching it back now, I'm like, thank God he proposed, because I look dumb. <laughs> I was gonna say, how do you feel about how you come off? Because you do look a little like obsessed with love and obsessed with Tarek, which I think you are obsessed with yeah. Tarek, and you are obsessed with being in love with Tarek. Yeah. Like, I'm not embarrassed about that. Like, I love love. I found my soulmate. I want to spend the rest of my life with him. Um, obviously, obviously, it's not all I talk about. It's also edited. So, you know, it's a story and it's a storyline. And, but yeah, I talk about him all the time. I do talk about marrying him, but I did tell him because we watched it the other night. I was like, wow, thank God you did it because I do talk about it a lot. <laughs> but honestly, like in our real life, I'm not out there talking, like pressuring him and like, when's it gonna happen? Like, it's just a joke, you know, it's just something fun and like, oh, hurry up, hurry up, but it's fun. <laughs> you do say in the show that you think he'll propose when you least expect it. So did you expect it at all when it actually happened? I didn't. And I didn't because he's very romantic. He likes to do special things for, for me. And because it was our one year anniversary, I knew that he had special things planned throughout that weekend. And everything that we were doing had a cover. So we were filming for Flipping 101, but it was for an episode that we have coming out together. I think it's coming out in September. So he's like, the crew's going to be here filming a little B-roll of us. Um, they're going to add it onto our episode and I'm like okay that's fine it's for work it's for his show like he'd do it for me so of course I'm, I'm okay with it so and I knew he had surprises planned but I just thought it was going to be like a really special dinner I didn't think it was going to be a proposal so like in my mind I never like saw, sat and thought thought like oh it's going to happen my friends did like a few of my friends said something but I'm like no I don't think he's going to do it on our one year I think he'll wait a few months so cameras were rolling, but they were not the selling sunset cameras. No, they were HGTV's cameras. <laughs> so you can appear on his show, but he can't appear on your show. I'm allowed to appear on one episode for his show. So um, we shot most of our episode. Well, so I thought we shot our episode. It was already finished. Um, I have a client and Tark helps my client um, flip her house, flip a house. So um, he brought, I brought her, him on. He brought me on to kind of help each other. Um, so then he told me, oh, we're just filming because his episodes are going to be an hour now. So he's like, oh, we're just adding on to that episode. Um, but yeah, I'm only allowed to film one episode with him. And he doesn't have that carve out for himself to go beyond one episode of Selling Sunset? You know, we might have a special um, special announcement to make for season four. If we get season four, there's a possibility he might be jumping on. <laughs> okay, because I was that would be my next question. It's, it's a big deal to get engaged and uh, to not be able to sh share any part of that on a show that's about your life. I know. Well, that's hard too because so much of my life is Tarek and I can talk about him. I think that's why I talk about him so much is because he is a huge part of my life and he can't be on the show with me. So all I can do is talk about him, right? And talk about our moments and talk about what, how much fun we have and everything going on. But um, yeah, there might have been a deal made. So okay. we'll <laughs> Well, that also makes me feel good about, you know, season four. Me too. But honestly, I don't know about season four, but I mean, fingers crossed. Do you see yourself relocating to Orange County full time? I am full time. Yeah, I moved full time. I mean, Tarek and I moved in together like two weeks after we started dating. But, um, you know, we kept a place in L.A. because I was up there a lot for work and I still do have to be up there a lot for work. So we're going to figure that out when the time comes. But, you know, I love Orange County. I love being with the kids all the time. I love being with Tarek all the time. And it does make it a lot harder. The commute is long, as you know. But when we get to that bridge, we're going to figure it out. 
Okay, a post-COVID bridge, figure out what your LA life is. Exactly. exactly. So season four, we might get an episode with Tarek. Having seen how Mary's wedding went and how Christine's wedding went, would you want to film your wedding for the show? You know, we have talked about this, obviously, because he's on TV, I'm on TV, and I really... I struggle with that one because I'm, I also like, this is, it's going to be my wedding day. It's going to be very personal and very special. And, you know, when you're filming, you're, you're mic'd up. There's certain, obviously when there's cameras on you, maybe people might act a different way and my guests might feel a certain way. And it might take that person. I, I don't know. It might take that. It might make it too impersonal. So I don't know yet. We need to talk about it. We need to kind of weigh the, pros and cons and then make a decision. But I know that HGTV is going to want it and the Netflix will probably want it. So they're going to be battling for that probably. Maybe there's some sort of a deal that could be weirdly struck there where it's like it goes on both and they premiere at the same time and you can watch whichever version you want. Well, the fact that they they um, were able to like make a deal with engagement, like I have some hope, but you know, I don't know. It's something Tark and I really need to talk about as a couple and decide if we want to invite the cameras into our special day. and. You know, one day, like it's only been a week, but I'm already like, well, you know, we're trying to come plan the location and um, plan certain things. And I'll go back and forth. I'm like, maybe we should do it here. Maybe we'll just elope. Maybe we'll go to Europe. Like, I don't know. We're literally every day, it's something different. Well, because there's all those things that uh, in regular life you wouldn't think about. Like, can we get cleared to film here? Is there space for cameras in it here and all that kind of stuff? Yeah. And that's the thing. Venues have to approve that. And and I don't know, it's just something that, like the, both their weddings were beautiful and ask them, would they do it again? Would they film it again if they had the choice? Or do they feel like it took away from their, their special day? Season three got a lot more personal than seasons one and two. Yeah. Um, does that scare you at all about what you would be asked to kind of share on the show? I think it's, it's our choice. Like they could always ask and then I can either say yes or no. And it, it's a reality show. So sometimes in the moment, we do forget we're filming and as you see like we talk openly about things and um right when we get into the office or we get on on set wherever we're filming they mic us right away so like sometimes us girls are having conversations like real conversations and i'll forget i'm mic'd i'm like oh my god and technically they can use whatever they want you know like and not that i'm thinking about like i'm mic'd or not mic'd but you just forget the cameras are there like this is our real lives and um but i i don't know i think when the time comes, it'll be a, a personal choice I'll have to make. But I mean, I think a lot of my life and almost my whole life is out there already. So, um, you know, that's kind of the name of the game. Put my life out there. Yeah. It's what you signed up for. What I signed up for. And I think, you know, season one, they were introducing us more. And then season two and three, they got to really go behind the scenes and, and get to know us as real people. 